Hello, driving intelligence community. A friend of mine gave me this clock. It comes from a business, an automotive business that they had that they shut down, and they wanted to find a home for it. Unfortunately, when I put the battery in, the quartz movement doesn't work. It's really simple to repair these. If yours isn't working, any kind of clock with a quartz movement in it like this, it's really simple to replace it. I've got the one specific for this one in the description of this video, but I'm gonna show you how to disassemble this, this clock replace that motor mechanism and get this thing running again. Before I get into this, make sure you check out all the repairs I've made and items I've reclaimed in my Don't Replace It, Fix It playlist linked in the description of this video. Now the first thing I wanna do is gently, very gently pry up this, this front plastic cover. And that's all I had to do is put a little screwdriver in there. You can see there's a tab that it goes to, pops right off. One of the things I'm gonna do is actually polish off that uh, TCI tire centers, etc. I don't want that on there. Next thing I'll do is carefully pry off these little hands. Now this is very thin metal, so it'll bend very easily. So be very careful when you're doing this. I, uh, I actually had to straighten it back out after I pulled it off the first time. They just press on very easily, very gently. Got them all off. The next thing you're gonna do is take off all the screws in the back that hold all this together. The screws on the back that need to be removed are around the perimeter. You'll see several screws here, but there are two you don't need to remove in order to replace that motor. That's these two here that connect the caliper, the fake caliper on the brake. If you do remove those, it's no big deal. You can just reattach it later on. Now with the screws removed, it's really easy to take off this center section. And that leaves the clock assembly. And down here, there's a nut that you're going to loosen up to get rid of that old dysfunctional uh, quartz movement. With that removed, what I did was I went on to Amazon, and again, I'll link this one below, but you can see there's the quartz movement, JT2318, and what's critical is measuring this distance here. Now, this is 31 millimeters long, the total shaft, and actually the threaded portion is 15 millimeters. I could only find one that was 31 by 24, but as I look at this, it should work uh, shouldn't be any problem with the uh, using the longer threaded section, but it's very critical that you get the right overall shaft length As usual Amazon came through with the motor replaced this old broken motor. I got everything else cleaned up and polished now for installation Motors installed but there is one little problem you can see that this threaded portion I was hoping wasn't going to be a problem It's a lot shorter here than it is on the new unit and the center piece will not go all the way down. So what I'm gonna to have to do is drill out this center section to allow it to fully seat on this shaft. So I ran into another obstacle. It turns out that the hole in each of these arms, these are the two original arms, are not the same as the holes in the new arms. So nothing I can do can make those match up. So what I'm gonna to have to do is trim these to size Unfortunately, I won't have like the screwdriver element. It won't look like a screwdriver, but who's gonna notice that except for me? So let's trim these, put them on, and get it working. So this project's not without its problems. That little pin in there that controls the second hand is too small for the pin that was in the second hand. So what I'm gonna do is lightly squeeze this with a pair of pliers, pinch it down a little bit so it pushes on there and holds tightly. Second hand is working perfectly with the new battery installed and now I just gotta polish this up, the front lens, and I can hang it on the wall. <laughs> 